so in this session we are going to talk about permutation and combination and probability okay so obviously this is not something that is new for you okay so we are just going to rush up things over here and just going to cover the basics okay so first of all we are going to learn what is the rule of sum Okay, the rule of sum and the rule of product are just the fundamental principle of counting. What is the rule of sum? Rule of sum says, if task A can be done in m ways, okay, and if we have task B, let us suppose. over here i have task b which can be done in n ways okay then i can do any of these talks either of these tasks rather in m plus n ways okay then either of these tasks can be done in m plus 1 ways okay as simple as that and there is nothing special about this so for example let us suppose you have 15 albums okay of madonna okay and you have let us suppose 20 albums of michael jackson okay and you have to choose one of them then how many options do you have you have 20 plus 15 options to choose one album okay so basically what do you have over here this is your task a in which you have to choose one album okay similarly this is your task b in which you have to choose one album from amongst the albums of michael jackson so if you have to choose one album from either of these two guys then you have total 20 plus 15 45 albums or options to choose from okay so that is your funda fundamental principle of counting for rule of sum okay then similarly we also have the rule of product so it says that if a task can be broken down into two stages let us suppose we call these stages as stage 1 and stage 2 okay and we have the outcomes in stage 1 are let us suppose m and the outcomes in stage 2 is let us suppose n okay so the total number of outcomes for the task is m into n okay why why is it the rule of product because this is m into n we are talking about stage 1 and stage 2 okay we have to perform both the stages in order to complete the task okay so therefore total number of outcomes for the task is equal to m into n okay so let us take an example over here as well let us suppose there are three cities okay cities city a city b and city c okay and i say that there are four ways to travel from a to b okay let us suppose these are the four ways okay let it be like i can travel by air i can travel on a ship i can travel by road and i can travel let's suppose on a train while from b to c i can 